Christ, I've come out here and it's facing backwards and it's absolutely ripping it round. Here we go, here's some wind. Seems to be following the wind. Thank you. 
this thing's going scary fast again. Right, now I'm going to lower it down. Damn, that thing catches the wind. <sighs> I think I'm just going to have to short the phases and then put it back up. So let's do that. I'll get some wire and put across both of those, the DC. Right, so I've shorted those two out, so when it goes back up, theoretically it shouldn't spin. We hope. I've realised why it's going around so fast, because the wind has changed direction and now it's coming from the north. And it's always a lot more powerful, even if it says it's 15 mile an hour, it'll probably be equivalent to 25 if it was blowing from the south. I don't know why that is, I'm presuming it's the North Sea, but let's get this bad boy up again. So that, I guess, in effect, is working as a downwind turbine now. So what I'm going to do is I'll get the anchorage cable and pull it round so it's facing the right way. Remember, it should have the brake on. That seems like good news that the brake is actually working, he says. No, it isn't. Right, okay, that is uh, not good news. I don't know what the problem is there. Right, better take it down again. Strange. And just went pop there. Well, one of the turnbuckles actually popped out, so anyway, I'm going to sort that out, get it down, and try and find out why there's no power. Just going to use a meter, see if I can work out if it's actually making anything. Whoa, that board is so dodgy. So dodge. This bolt is just all over the place. Oh, 
shows a very small amount of voltage AC. Right, so for the 150 millionth time, it's going up again. What I've done, I've shorted out the two phases, uh, the three phases from the turbine where it comes up to the rectifier, so that should do it for sure. Right, so I've turned it into the wind, it doesn't move then it probably means the rest price, right? So there you go. It would appear to be a faulty rectifier. Maybe it's because I drilled a hole, you know, where they've got two holes, and I drilled a hole out a little bit to put a bolt in that was 5 mil instead of 4mm, but I wouldn't have thought that would have broken it. But, oh, hang on a sec. Maybe the turbine's got other ideas. So yes, I've ordered a new rectifier and it should be here tomorrow, which is Wednesday, but it probably won't be till tomorrow night. So anyway, in a bit of... So I'm just going to show you, it is making a bit when I spin it by hand. That's on the AC. It won't make anything on the DC. So yeah, new rectifier.